the peaceful, peaceful noise of my my beautiful cow farm. <laughs> uh, maybe peaceful is not the word. Maybe not. So yes, it is me. It is me, Diamond Man. I am. I am back at it again. Welcome to episode twenty-four, and we have a really big project, but. But before we tackle that project, I should should probably stop messing around with the shaders and, and, and I'll turn them off. The shaders were Seuss Shaders 1.13, not 1.14. So, uh, by the title of the video, you can see what we're doing today. Today we have another farm episode, a big project. This is something that will progress the world, like, a lot. Now, if you caught the beginning of the last episode, uh, you, you know what we found, um, and that is exactly what we will be turning into a farm today. I, I love skeleton farms. They're probably the best spawner farm in my opinion. I love the loot. And and, and yeah, so uh, we'll try and go like step by step and, and talk about things and do things and, and just just craft it up. Oh yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, let's talk about materials before we do anything. Uh, we will need some soul sand. Uh, just one, I think. Let's put the materials over here. We'll need our pickaxe, um, but I'm I'm going to keep that on me. We'll need uh, building blocks, but we'll probably get most from digging out the room. I'll take some cobblestone, though, because we have a silk touch pickaxe. Um, we will need wood. We need signs. Um, and this is all off the top of my head. Um, not, not to show off or anything, but I, I've done these before. <laughs> uh, they're not that hard to make. Um, and then the final thing that we need is ice. Um, I, I think that's pretty much it, like wood... Uh, building, um, a, a soul sand. We'll need water buckets too, lots of those. Um, and um, yeah, ice. Uh, so we have to go on another adventure right here at the beginning. And I'll leave that other water bucket there. I'll, I'll make a new one because we'll need to make a water source underground anyways. So let me go ahead and empty my uh, inventory out a little bit and then let's go sailing. And while we start to sail here, I'd like to talk about something that I'd I'd like to start and, and make make a good point about doing. So last episode we did the comet wall and built the shepherd's house on that front little hill there. I still do need to get, you know, the plant life and, and the hill terraformed and everything and, and looking cool. Uh, but that's the point of the skeleton farm. From the skeleton farm we'll get bone meal and yeah, we'll be able to grow the big giant trees that I love and and do all that kind of cool stuff. So I'm hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, to to get good about um, recapping the last episode at the beginning of the next episode. In case you guys miss it or you just don't catch it or watch it for whatever reason, um, then then you should be in an okay spot to just carry on with the series. And um, yep, I'll, I'll just try and recap things a little bit, and you can go back and, and check it out whenever if you want. Um, uh, but we're sailing off to I, I don't know why. Did that. Um, <laughs> we're sailing off to the nearest frozen ocean that I'm aware of, and that ocean uh, was over by the savanna. I can remember, you know, being in the savanna biome and looking off into the distance and seeing icebergs. So uh, that's where we need to go. We'll use our silk touch pickaxe to dig up um, just like three or so ice. I'll probably grab a little bit more to be safe uh, because accidents happen. And and yeah, we we do need some ice for this design though. Um, um, and, and yes, plain old ice would work. You don't necessarily need packed ice or, or, um, blue ice? Blue ice. Yeah, blue ice. Ahoy! Um, there is land. I, I'm converting over to a pirate, uh, by the way. That was my pirate, um, costume that I tried to do, and... I hope you like it. Uh, I've been rehearsing since episode six or so. I wanted to make sure it was good. Uh, but I, I have to say, I, I love these frozen ocean biomes. These things are so, so cool. I, I really wish, you know, well, when 1.13 came out, they did something with the bottom of the oceans a, a little bit more. Like maybe in the frozen ocean, we have like more shipwrecks or something cool like that. But uh, but yeah, I, I, I love this biome. Now, uh, do we have any blue ice anywhere? Um, not that we need it, I I just like to locate some of it. Um, there's some blue ice under the water there. That's pretty cool. Um, hmm, I didn't realize how much this would show up on a map. Um, I I guess we'll land here and um, take that. Uh huh. And then go over here and hopefully, uh, no polar bears. I don't see any, so we should. Oh. Why is that so fast? 
Huh? Um. Oh yeah, efficiency. We have efficiency on this thing. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that we had a efficiency on this pickaxe. That's crazy. Look at that. Uh, I think we have more than three now. So, yep, that's good. But uh, I'd love to see how slow or or fast um blue ice mining is. So, do we have any anywhere like exposed? I I see some all the way over there. Uh, I didn't really want to go that far though. Um. That kind of scared me, not going to lie. <laughs> uh, huh. Uh, ah, there, there are some. All right, so it's decently fast. It's not like super fast like that ice, but uh, yeah. Let's grab a stack. Let's just get up to a clean stack or so, and then we'll leave um, and, and get back to the project. All right, so as far as I can recall, these are all of the final materials. Wood blocks, uh, a soul sand, water bucket, and ice, but I don't need to take all of the ice down there. We'll take eight or so for now, and if I need more, I can come right back up here. So, let's go ahead and go down into um, the mines here and, and tackle this, this project. Now, I'm hoping that uh, we can maybe, 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 um, connect the skeleton farm up to the, the land somehow. Well, we, we can definitely do that. Like, eventually... Uh, I'd like to not have to go down into the mines to access the skeleton thing. Um, I have a feeling that this thing has got to be out under the ocean. Like, we're pretty far out. Well, we can just check the biome, right? Um, where's the biome at? <laughs> Lukewarm ocean. Okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, we are under the ocean, which is okay. We could, we can work with that. Um, but let's see if he can do it. So we, we need torches. Uh, we probably need more um not that many though uh okay so let's let's go let's go let's go uh uh not so fast skeletons no 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 you're not so cool anymore are you huh <laughs> i guess we showed him who's boss um not a single spawn and I, I hear more zombies and and stuff so before doing these spawner farms i definitely like 11 out of 10 not even lying um recommend blocking off uh, or lighting up caves around you because I, I've had the unfortunate circumstance of, you know, getting nearly done with the spawner farm and then a creeper comes in and blows up the spawner. And uh, in case you didn't know, um, spawners, you can't get those things back and they can be blown up and broken really easily. So, um, yep, make sure your cave is safe is the big thing. Um, now, I am going to do this as well. I... I just don't trust myself, and then we'll, oh boy, that's what I was talking about, creepers, they're not good, um, they're good when they're gone, okay, uh, so let's go ahead and just, yep, light up a good portion of this, and then we can actually work on the project, uh, you need to have a safe building area, and I'd like to decrease noise as well, um, and I'll come back for these ores, don't worry guys, I'm just, oh, oh, that's kind of cool, um, they gotta get rid of them, I don't have any use for them down here, um, oh, there's another creeper over there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, oh, oh, boy. All right, so the caves are nice and safe. Now, for now, um, I'll, I'll again, go back and, and make it better. And, yeah, I spam torches over here. I was freaking out. <laughs> that's uh, what that's all about. So, what do we have? Anything good? Uh, yeah, a, a music disc is... Oh, oh, that's huge. That's huge, guys. Uh, we don't have a saddle yet. Uh, that's really good. Now we can step things up and get ourselves a horse friend. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. So that's good loot. Uh, we'll place our chest, I, I think, there for now. That'll be fine. And we'll make an infinite water source over here because we will need water for this build. Uh, and lots of it. Well, kind of lots of it. Uh, now let's just go ahead and dump some of this stuff out of here and then we can talk about the build. Oh, and if you think you're going to die, uh, you should set your spawn near near where you're going to build so like place a bed and sleep and, and leave the bed there so uh first dimensions so we need a um a nine by nine room so four out from the spotter there and then one two three four yep mm -hmm. and then one two three four yeah and then one two three four and then the wall will go there so that'll that'll be good that's that's our dimensions and everything and uh now this is something that's entirely optional, but 
I am indeed going to <laughs> uh, care about how the farm looks. So I am going to dig all this up and the fifth block actually as well because I'd like to do something different on the walls with stone, maybe stone brick, uh, maybe mossy stone brick. Um, <laughs> and, and yeah, so in terms of the... Um, uh, what was this? The X and the Z directions. Um, it's it's four out in every direction. Um, on, on top of the spawner, you really only need um, two blocks, but we have three, so that's fine. We can we can leave that, and um, you should always do this. I'll I'll do it right now while I'm thinking about it. But uh, on top of your spawner, you want a um, a slab. So if we do this and then say. That um, that will help prevent skeletons from idling on top of the spawner. Uh, spawners work interestingly. There's a detection radius around these things, and if you don't move the mobs out of that detection radius soon enough, the rates will slow down. So you need to move the skeletons away from the farm. Um, that's the big thing with these spawner farms, is moving mobs uh, away. And that's the same for zombies as well. These dimensions and everything that I'm talking about will work for a zombie spawner. And actually, a, a lot of the stuff in today's episode uh, should work for better Edition as well. The, the mechanics with these things are pretty much the same. So, um, yep, if you're on Bedrock, you can copy this thing, and it, and it should work over in your world. Uh, I've done it before uh, in Bedrock worlds of my own. And, and yeah, uh, and this block, that... That block right there. Something about that block makes me feel uh, a little bit afraid. Don't know what it is. So the walls. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, it's okay. Um, I forgot my vines. I, I needed to use or wanted to use vines on the wall. You know, mossy stone brick. So um, where's the exit? Here is the exit gotta go so 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 the walls what am i thinking well i i have an interesting idea on the walls i'd like to do you know stone brick and and then just plain old uh um well this is mossy stone brick and then plain stone brick and then uh, a little bit of andesite in here as well i think if we we mixed in like random polished uh andesite squares that could look cool and then on the ceiling i think i'd like to make this uneven and, and crazy like like it's a cave right like on the top and i'll get slabs and, and maybe even some walls hanging down in here but i i have to get rid of all of the granite i i like granite i'm not anti-granite that is not my stance but um the granite doesn't match with what i'm trying to to create here i want a stone like gray feel so um yep that's what i'm going to do and also i i'll mix some cobblestone on the walls as well um to make it look like really worn down and just old and, and everything like that. That's, that's what I'm going for. So uh, that's the plan now. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and and get all of these walls in. That's really the next step is, is make sure your farm or your, your build looks like, like you're using the decorative blocks that you want because once you close this thing, you you won't want to open it. So decorate now before before you go too far and make sure your lighting stays bright if your lighting gets dark in here um you're going to have some issues uh while we dig here i'd like to give a quick and short little shout out to ground crazy may thank you very much for your support oh man oh man oh boy so the room i i really like it it's a super busy wall and, and busy ceiling but i think that looks pretty cool and pretty evil so now back to dimensions how far down do you need to go uh you need to go at least three blocks down that's how i do it at least uh, i've seen other measurements and other people say oh go go four go five but uh, three should be fine so uh we'll go three blocks down um and I'll, I'll have to do even more of the wall now over here on the front i am leaving like an entrance, a way up and down, and you should definitely do that as well, because, yeah, you, you probably want out of the, the farm, the thing that you're building, so uh, same thing pretty much for me now, I'll dig the room down lower, and, you know, hmm, 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 uh, just because our room, like our ceiling is so high, maybe we'll go four down this time, I, I don't usually do four, like I said, three should be fine, uh, but we're gonna go four down, um, 
just to make the room look a little more balanced, right? Like, to me, the room, like, like with three, it, it, it looks odd how the spawner is um, just... In, in relation to the ground, so <laughs> I'm being picky, I know, but uh, yep, I'm gonna go four down and the floor, the floor, the floor. Let's talk about that really quick. So I think the floor could be wood, um, and so that's what I think we're going to do. Probably just um, oak slabs or something, uh, something very, very basic. But uh, yep, a wooden floor in here to to kind of finish things off because uh, we have this whole room feel and then a cave ceiling and yep I, I think that would be a nice little contrast so um the next step is yep digging out the bottom half of the room go ahead and do that if you're doing that and uh, and uh and uh yep i'll keep getting rid of the diorite uh whoops i always do that <laughs> that's my bad oh no you don't oh no you don't oh boy get out of here man all right, so the floor. Um, like I said, I'm I'm doing wood on the floor. I think that would look cool. Uh, but this is another dimension that you'll need. So you'll need to decide which way you want your your farm to be. And I'd like to to kill my skeletons like over here somewhere because uh, these are going to be moved into a different room for us to kill. And uh, that means um, based on where you want your your like grinding room to be uh you'll need another trench and the trench should be going towards that grinding room so if i want my room over there then we need a trench all the way along um this side of the room over here uh going into the wall i left a hole in the wall right there and um, that'll all make sense in a minute but i still do need to do the floor in here so that's what i'm what i'm working on i i really like how this room is turning out though like the the feel is creepy and and spooky and i don't know <laughs> this is probably my favorite um like mob spawner room that i've made ever i i really like uh how it's turning out now the diamond pickaxe uh unfortunately it, it didn't die it has like 55 durability left so um it's almost gone and i i need to heal it up but to heal it up i need more diamonds i only have one so um we might take a break and and go up to the surface to fix it up but at the same time, uh, I think I can finish the job off with an iron pickaxe. I've done most of the digging, so I'm, I'm not that worried about it. Um, but I'll tell you this. I, I need to get back down into the mines ASAP and, and get some mining, some strip mining going on, branch mining, um, because it's a problem, like not having diamonds. I, I'd like a sword. and Oh, that's okay. Uh, I, I like to have all the good stuff, right? The good stuff. All right, so with the room mostly dug out, let's let's talk about um, the water at the front and really what's going to be going on. So um, we're going to put water at the back of this room eventually and move all of the skeletons to that that trench over there. Then in this corner, we'll place more water and move the skeletons over, and then we'll set up a bubble column elevator uh, over there, like just behind this wall, to send the skeletons all the way up to um, like like up. 30 or so blocks and then we'll drop them 20 um to, to kill them right so that's what's going on now uh to get the skeletons into the elevator i like to speed them up a little bit and i speed them up by moving them across ice now it's not much it, it's really it's it's just really not much it doesn't do too much like you could probably skip it honestly but um you do want one ice right in front of um the elevator right here so that's where my elevator will be i'll need an ice to slide the skeletons out of the water into this bubble column and then the bubble column will go up very very far so i think that's all good in terms of like my position oh boy aha uh -huh. <laughs> uh the diorite was bothering me in there and yep whoops uh but anyways i i think the ice is all good and, and positioned right and and also, I need to fix up the wall here, and then uh, we need signs. Uh, the next thing that you need is a whole lot of signs. So if you don't have those yet, um, go get those, because uh, you need a lot. I guess, to be fair, you don't really need a lot of signs. You just need a few to really... Or wait, yes, we do. We need a lot of signs. I always forget about this elevator and how it's done. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So... The elevator needs to be too wide, right? Um, uh, just because of how it is. And so let's do this. Let's move that out um, and get it back. And 
get this out, not with a pickaxe, and let's move this whole elevator back one block. Uh, just one. So we'll do ice and then soul sand right there, and the water should reach. It should go all the way over there. Um, yeah, it does. Okay, so when we do this elevator, we're going to need uh, two blocks uh, clear all the way up, and you'll need however many signs you want. So um, we'll have our grinding room over over here again, and I should probably actually heal up my pickaxe because I have a lot more digging to do. So let's go ahead and take a break and do that really quick. So fixing a pickaxe, uh, you need an anvil and you'll need whatever material the, the axe is made out of. Uh, so place your pick in, in the anvil and then your, your payment, if you will. And um, there you go. Now I'd like to rename this pickaxe too. And I don't know how the highlighting thing works. So let's do this. Silk pick for now. Um, it's not that fancy, but uh, there we go. Uh, a little bit more durability on the pickaxe now. It's healed up uh, and it costs some levels. So you do have to pay um, to do that in, in, in a way. Um, so, yep, that's that's that. That's how you heal up tools and, and everything. And um, yeah, you can combine tools too. Uh, I do have a different diamond pickaxe sitting around, but that's my first one and I just wasn't going to use it. Um, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but with, with tools like this, you really want unbreaking. And that's what I don't have on my, my tool. Um, so, yep. Um, unbreaking helps a lot. It makes your pickaxe or any tool last a whole lot longer. Anyways, though, the room. So, uh, you'll want a, a, a room to, to farm your skeletons in. And the room can be really however big or small you want, so long as... Um, it, it is on the side of uh, where your elevator is going to be. So my elevator will be right here, right? Uh, again, to be clear. And so that means um, the room should be like in here and, and everything. Uh, the elevator is two. Uh, so we could maybe move the mobs up the elevator. Um, and then let's see. Uh, you you want to drop them straight, or like, like straight um, out from your elevator. So maybe we do like a... I don't know. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, may maybe three blocks in between where that is. Uh, yeah, I think that should be fine. Like, like drop them. Through. Yeah, okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> That'll work. And keep in mind that spawners will turn off. A spawner will turn off when you're more than 16 blocks away from it. So you, you do want your area that you'll be killing the skeletons at to be probably within 16 blocks of your spawner. Otherwise, yeah, the, the rates are going to slow down and you, you probably don't want that. So, um, yep, just remember that and, and, and yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, once you have your spot where you're going to drop your skeletons, you'll need to get your coordinates. Um, we are at um, Y37. That's the important one. You need to add, I, I believe it is 21 to that number, and that is how high up your elevator needs to go. Um, so this elevator is going to need to go all the way up to Y58, um, and then I'll drop them back down, um, and, and, and yeah, if you go too high up, then the mobs will just fall and die instantly, and that's not what we want. We want to get experience and, and all of the loot from it, so 21. 21 is the number. But you need signs, and, and lots of signs, so uh, my elevator is going to be very, very tall. Um, so I need, uh, probably, yeah, 32, if I'm being honest, uh, cause we need to go, yeah, all the way up, um, Y58 from here. So 32 should be f fine, almost. Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. So this sign should go all the way along your elevator, uh, like that. And then, uh, inside of the elevator, you need water going all the way up. But, uh, here's a, a word of advice. You need down the elevator and bubble columns push you up. So pull the ice out in front of your elevator and uh, place a water source there. So you can jump out of the water stream and or the bubble stream and land into this water. It's very dangerous. Yes, I know. <laughs> like uh, you, you might die if you're not careful. But yep, uh, that's a pro tip for you. Do that and you can get up and down and then put the ice in after you're done. Uh, now, this is a slow process, but... Um, it, it'll be worth it in the end, and it's really noisy. Um, yeah, so 
good luck. <laughs> you know, it, it might be a good idea too, um, if you want to move your water source into like your room so you don't have to go as far. So I'm going to put mine there temporarily, uh, just a simple infinite water source. And yep, it'll be a little less back and forth. He's still a lot, uh, unless you want to make a lot of water buckets, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, so I'll do it the slow way, which is this back and forth and back and forth. I think you guys kind of get this process though. So uh, I'll cut this out, uh, just signs all the way up to whatever Y coordinate you need. Uh, the sign should be on the inside, by the way. It's it's very important that the, uh, that the signs are above where your ice uh, goes. And yeah, they could be on the back wall, but I wasn't really going to do that um, if I can. Oh, boy. Oh, and, and by the way, uh, I should mention that there are other ways to do this. If you have kelp, you, you can actually place water all the way at the top and and just place kelp down and you should be good. Or you can just place a water stream near the top and kind of swim up it and, and do things like that. That'll work as well. You don't need to hassle with the bubble column if you don't want to, but uh, I, either way, whatever you do, you need water sources going all the way up this whole thing or uh, the bubble column won't activate. So, uh, yep, just keep that in mind and, and yeah. Now, once you get to the top of your elevator, and, and yes, I, I know it's really, really dark in here. Um, but once you get to the top, you, you need to dig over towards uh, wherever you are dropping your mobs. So this should be 57. I was meant to go to 58. Uh, mm, one more. I have to go one more. Uh -huh. So uh, let's try it again. Uh, once you get to the top of your elevator, you, you need to dig over to wherever you are dropping your mobs. I recommend digging the, the roof or the ceiling of your elevator to above the last water source. So select that. And I placed the torch for now, but the torch will go. Um, now we moved the mob, mobs, excuse me, three blocks over, and then we had our drop. So right there, um, right, right there should be our drop. So uh, we should be able to, oh, look at that. Oh, that's sand. 50, oh, beach, biome beach, ha-ha. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're under our, our island. Uh, but anyways, uh, this needs to go away. We, we don't really, we want this whole ceiling to be three high, and we don't need a torch in there. So uh, now the moment of truth. We, we dig down, and be very careful doing this. Um, you could hit lava. Uh, I should have brought a water bucket. Just in case. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm one off. I'm one off. That's not that bad. So <laughs> make sure you're spot on on wherever you're going to drop your mobs. That's uh, uh, very important. Uh, but what I am doing up here is placing a sign. You see, like, like right there um, to hold the water back so the mobs are moved up and, and then moved over and then down. Um, and the sign is stopping the water from falling down this thing because if it does, then our mobs won't take damage. The skeleton seems to drop onto a solid block like that to take damage. Now finally, uh, make sure you, you only have a one block space. If you're doing this with baby zombies, you need half slabs there as, or zombies, um, you need half slabs for the baby zombies, right? Um, but that's good. So we need to remove this water source from here now. Um, so let's do this and, and that, and then uh, that, there we go. Okay, and it's time to uh, get the ice back in. We can't forget about that. So this needs to to change to that and then we need a water source huh oh the slab we need a water source here to move mobs over to the elevator and then we need water sources all the way along the back of this room to move the mobs towards the front of the room so they can go into that stream down there and and be moved over now the water is going to get loud and, and that's just a thing but uh, i i think the whole room is really pretty much ready so this is the hard part uh, the torches. They all need to go. All of them. <laughs> so, uh, yep. Skeletons are definitely going to start spawning when you do this step. Um, just just have good armor or, or try and be quick. Um, you can hit them if you need to. Um, it's fine. It, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but uh, don't fall into the room. Don't fall. Don't fall. Uh, so I think we got the whole room. And uh, that skeleton, because I hit him, he should fall and die. Um because I took some health away from him. We want skeletons with with zero health lost um, to fall down this thing. So let's see if, if he does. Yep, there we go. He falls and dies. That's that's okay. Uh, but the next one, 
uh, that doesn't see us and doesn't take any damage. We need to make sure they don't see us because if they see us, they'll shoot at each other and they'll hurt each other and they'll take damage, which, yep, that's, that's not what we want. So, uh, moment of truth here. Aha. Uh, Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All right. Um... Well, I don't usually kill them with my fist, but two two punches. Two punches for the guy without the armor. The guys with armor will will take more punches because, yeah, they have armor and the armor is protecting them. But that is indeed how you make a super simple uh, skeleton farm. And now I'm very happy <laughs> uh, because we can stand here and, and kill skeletons and get experience, bones, um, bows, arrows, just everything. Like everything really, really cool. So... I, I think this is probably where we're going to end the episode today, but I, I have one more thing that's that's driving me crazy now, and I need to find it out. Um, I think I need to make some ladders with this wood that I have here and and try it out. I, I need to. I, I have to see how close we are to the surface before we end the episode. Like, like where do we land if we were to, to dig straight up? So let's say... Um, maybe over oh this is forest uh yeah we'll, we'll do it right here um this is just a temporary spot but uh how much do i have on this 177 hmm, i'll just use this all right digging time just just curious i i just need to see um and i should sleep too all right we're into the dirt what do we oh boy oh boy that's land okay so uh let's do this there we go the ladder's temporary it'll it'll go away um, where is this? Oh, no. <laughs> no way. Okay, so we are on that front island. Uh, the spawner farm, there's an enderman, uh, would be under here somewhere. Oh, that's amazing. That is, that is so amazing. Um, we couldn't have asked for a better skeleton spawner. That is I thought that was going to be way under the ocean, like way out, you know, like past the shipwreck. That's pretty cool, though. Um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, but uh, this ladder is, is definitely going to go away. I'll leave it here for now so we can get up and down. Uh, but yeah, so that is the basics of this skeleton farm, how it all works and everything. Uh, like I said, bedrock Java. Um, and uh, now it's time for me to make uh, a few more chests, farm up some wood in between episodes, and really just use this thing i might uh use this a bit off camera and um, we'll come back maybe i'll be a higher level and and yeah but uh that is the whole farm and, oh yeah and ideally you'll you'll want to block this all off uh, but we'll talk about making that fancier next episode so uh, just look out for that uh but thank you very much for watching my name is waddles um check out uh, my, my twitter my my twitch my um instagram uh everything else if you love what you see patreon channel member you know you know this stuff uh goodbye everyone go have a good day thanks for watching